In today's society, what is considered as acceptable language? There came a time when words such as the B word or the N word or bitch and nigga were considered rather offensive. But nowadays, these words are glorified in the music that we listen to and the shows that we watch. So why? Why has this changed? Why have words such as the B word or the N word or bitch and nigga become rather popular as slang terms in today's society? So I'm, weird. I'm here with uh, Jody Likes. Um, pretty much what I'm here to ask him is, how do you feel about the word in, the N word and the B word in our society today? The N word, there's a documentary. It talks about the use of the word nigger. If you look in the history of this country, you see the classification, legal classification, of black people in this country progress. It has an evolution. Um, and you can look at documents that say nigger, as in that was a legal definition of a black person in this country. The pinnacle U.S. Supreme Court case that typifies the way that white America felt about black America was Dred Scott. And in Dred Scott, this is the 1850s, they said that a black man was not, he was property, and therefore could not even present his case in front of the U.S. Supreme Court, that he was property, couldn't even hear his, his matter. And so that is, that is by the way, just to, to be fair, one of the worst Supreme Court decisions ever judged in this in the, uh, in the history of the U.S. Supreme Court. Most people will agree that it was, it was a low point, at least. Um, so, so Dred Scott, you've got nigger as a classification. We then become Negro, and the nigger and Negro period is kind of interchanged. Um, we have colored, we have African American, and we have black. So very, very much uh, a progression in the, the use of words that classify people who are black in this country. Um, bringing this back to just present, you know, how, how people use nigger and how, how maybe that has changed since I was a child. What we did at some time was take it on us to say, look, you're gonna call me a nigger, but you can't do anything to me that I, I'm stronger than that. So I'm gonna call myself a nigger and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be, one up on you because you can't do something to me that I don't already do to myself. So I think that's where we started to get to this point where we just call ourselves. Um, sure, if we're going to use it in a different context, we still have to remember where it came from, and we, I think we have to be careful with it.